Super Step is a bird's plane. It's me. Let me get right to the point. Today, I'm going to show you how to broadcast your Clubhouse conversations on Facebook and YouTube live, even simultaneously. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to show you by showing you how to connect your phone to an audio mixer, to an interface, and to a laptop to make all this happen. Now, are there going to be a lot of steps? Yes. But when it's all done, will it be the most efficient way to do it? Yes. Will you have any headaches? No. So trust me. Trust your boy. I got you. Before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe to the Stefan Pfeiffer YouTube channel. Make sure you even leave comments, even leave questions if you have them. Let's get to it. Let me start off with a disclaimer. I previously posted videos on creating the best audio setup for Clubhouse, but I'm making this video assuming you haven't seen my previous videos, and I'll be reteaching some things about the audio setup. If you have seen my previous videos about a Clubhouse app audio setup, feel free to check out the time signatures in the description of this video to skip to the part where I connect Clubhouse to Facebook and YouTube. Okay, let's go. Start off with a multi-channel audio mixer. This gives us the ability to use multiple audio sources for your podcast at the same time. Audio sources like music, mics, phones for call-ins can all be connected to these eight channels on this mixer. When it comes to options, channels are your best friend. I suggest this Behringer 8-channel mixer. If you'd like to get your own, I left a link in the description. Start off by plugging your mic into the first channel. I'm using a Sterling Audio Condenser microphone. Almost any mic could work with a mixer like this as long as you have the right audio cable. The cable I'm using today is a simple XLR male to female audio cable. This cable should work with the average mic. A link to some good mics and XLR cables are in the description. Connect the female end of the XLR cable to the bottom of the microphone. Connect the male end of the XLR cable into channel 1 of your soundboard. All these knobs in channel 1 allow you to adjust how the mic sounds. The knob at the bottom of the channel controls the channel volume. In this case, it's controlling the mic volume. If you're using a condenser mic, be sure to turn the phantom power of the board on by pushing the phantom power button. Next, get yourself a dual quarter inch to single quarter inch interconnect cable. Link in the description. Look over to the right side of the mixer for the master output. The master output combines the audio from all the channels into one output, one sound. That sound is a podcast. Plug the single quarter inch into the left quarter inch output. Now, what are we going to do on the other end of our stereo cable? We're going to plug it into something called an iRig 2. Check out the link in the description to get one for yourself. This is an iRig 2 and you can use it with an iPhone. At the time of this taping, Clubhouse is exclusive to iPhone users. So Android users, I'll have to get back with you in another video. Take the dual quarter inch end of your interconnect cable. Left is gray, right is orange. Plug the left quarter inch into the guitar input of the iRig and plug the right quarter inch into the amp output of the iRig. Now we're set for everyone on Clubhouse to hear everything that comes through the audio mixer's master output. But now we need to use a channel on the board to hear what the people on Clubhouse are saying back to us. Let's use a dual quarter inch to single 3.5 cable. Link in the description. Pick one of the channels with a dual stereo input. Plug the left quarter inch into the left input and the right quarter inch into the right input. On the other end of the cable, plug the 3.5 into the headphone phone's output of the iRig. Look on the side of the iRig and make sure the word through is selected with the slider. Now it's time to connect the iRig to your phone. The newest iPhones only have lightning input available, so we're going to use a dual 3.5 lightning iPhone adapter. These adapters made by Belkin are awesome. Link in the description. Plug it into your iPhone and plug the iRig into the 3.5 input of the adapter. And I would recommend that you plug a charger into the lightning input. Now it's time to plug in your phone line. Take a single quarter inch to dual quarter inch audio cable. Plug the single end into the right quarter inch input of the master output of your mixer. Next, on the other end of the cable, plug the left quarter inch into the guitar input of another iRig 2. Plug the right quarter inch into the amp output of the iRig 2. Plug the iRig 2 into another Belkin dual 3.5 and lightning iPhone adapter. I've set a mouthful. Plug the Belkin adapter into your second phone. To control how loud your phone line will be, 
video on a clubhouse, get another single 3.5 to dual quarter inch audio cable. Plug the left and right quarter inch into the left and right input of one of the channels on the board. On the other end, plug the single 3.5 into the headphone output of the second iRig 2. On the side of the iRig, adjust the headphone volume and make sure the words through is selected with the slider. If you want to use any of the other channels on the mixer for music, now is the time to connect your music source to a channel with the proper cable. I usually use one of my laptops to play music. Next, plug a multi-headphone adapter into the headphone output of your mixer. Take a single male 3.5 to single male quarter inch interconnect cable. On one end, plug the 3.5 into one of the headphone outputs of the multi-headphone adapter. On the other end, plug the single quarter inch into one of the quarter inch inputs of something called a Focusrite Scarlet third generation interface. If you need to get one of these, check the link in the description. Now, some of you smart people might be wondering why I'm not using a mixer that is also an interface by itself, like a Behringer Xenix 1202 USB. My answer is this, mixers that double as interfaces like the 1202 USB aren't that great when it comes to working with audio editing software like Pro Tools, in my humble opinion. That's what interfaces like this Focusrite Scarlet are made for. Plus, having both a separate mixer and an interface just gives you more options. And as I always say, more options equals more creative freedom. That was just a little side note, back to business. Next, plug a pair of headphones into the headphones output of the interface. Plug your interface into another laptop. Now, Wait until the computer gives you a notification that it recognizes your interface. The lights on the front of your interface should turn on. Now, turn your master mixer volume up, adjust the headphone volume of your mixer, adjust the volume of your mic channel, clubhouse output channel, music channel, and phone line channel on the mixer. Adjust the volume on both iRig 2s, adjust the input volume of the Scarlet interface, and adjust the headphone volume of your interface. Next open webcast software that allows you to broadcast on Facebook and YouTube. Today, I'm using StreamYard.com. I really like StreamYard. You don't have to download it to your computer. You can just log into the website and for $30 a month, you get access to all of its great features. In StreamYard, choose your Facebook page or YouTube page or both as your broadcast destination. Select the Scarlet interface as your audio source in StreamYard. Now you're ready to open Clubhouse on on your iPhone and get busy with the people. You can now have people call your other phone as a phone line to join in on the Clubhouse conversation. Just like a radio phone line, it doesn't matter what phone they use to call in, they'll be able to hear and talk to everyone who is on the Clubhouse app. This is ideal for adding people who don't have access to the Clubhouse app for various reasons, like not having an invite or having an Android phone. And StreamYard has the ability to broadcast the audio on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously and you can use whatever visual you want whether it be a camera a video or a picture and you can even take it a step further like I do I like to mirror the clubhouse app visual from my phone to my computer to use as a visual on the Facebook and YouTube broadcasts all you have to do is take another phone and download a phone mirror app I use the let's view app next download the let's view software on your computer. Open the Let's View software on your computer and open the Let's View app on your phone. On your phone, in the Let's View app, find the name of your computer in the connection section and select it. Next, select the phone screen mirroring option. For some reason, that was a tongue twister. Anyway, next, access your phone's control center and tap screen mirroring. There's the tongue twister again. Ugh. Anyway, next, select your computer as the mirror destination. The Let's View software on your computer should open a mirror of your phone's screen in a separate window. Open Clubhouse on your mirrored phone and join the conversation that you want to broadcast. Now the visual of Clubhouse is mirrored on your computer. In StreamYard's broadcast studio, select the share icon at the bottom of the screen. Then select the share screen option. Then select application 
application window. Click the separate window of your phone mirror and click share. Choose the layout of your broadcast. Basically, you're adjusting how everything looks on screen. You now have a visual of Clubhouse on your broadcast as well as the audio of Clubhouse coming from the Scarlet interface. Finally, tap the go live button and get to work. How cool is it that now people can listen to you on Clubhouse, watch you on Facebook, and watch you on YouTube at the same time? You're welcome. And a little side note, if you wanted to record a copy that you could upload to a podcast website, just use one of the multi-headphone outputs on the mixer to plug in an audio cable and then plug the other end into an audio recorder of your choosing. <sighs> okay, that was a lot. I'm gonna go get something to drink. Y'all go get busy. Well, my friends, we have come to the end of this video and I hope that it has been helpful to you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, I gotcha. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and check out all of my other videos you'll get a lot of knowledge. And if you wanna get any of the items that I mentioned in this video, you don't have to go around searching for it. I left a link to each and every item in the description. I have been Stefan Pfeiffer, AKA Super Steph. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's me. Hello, and this is Stefan Pfeiffer in the house. Welcome to the Stefan Show. Blue baby, bye. Still got it.